What's up guys? I thought I would take a few minutes to talk to you about scheduling using the MUI interface and there are some significant advantages to MUI uh, that are not typically available within SMP. So one of the things that I wanted to show you is how you can do group scheduling. If you are uh, schedule dependent as what we are, you know, for cost savings, for energy efficiency and that sort of thing, then this is a feature that you will probably like using. For example, I need to add a schedule to multiple air handlers. And all I have to do within MUI, I do have the option here of selecting all or I can go through and individually click the different schedules, okay, uh, just like that. And then once I do that, I can go to my Actions tab and add an exception. And what this will actually do is write uh, whatever schedule that I do, it will write that into every single one of those individual schedules. So now the uh, a strong consideration is uh, first off on this screen here the way that you will use these uh, the long running uh, and this may sound a little bit confusing at first but once you start doing it you will see uh, some of the challenges that you can run into and some of the differences between these various options for example the long running option which is what I'm going to be using uh, if I was going to be scheduling just a single day or if I needed to keep a space occupied 24 hours a day, seven days a week and or for whatever time period. For example, if I was to go in here and set up a schedule on uh, this particular air handler and start it at seven o'clock in the morning, on one day uh, I'm just gonna throw this in here just to show you real quick and then go to the next side and not turn it off for say a few days for example uh, and so we'll turn it off at around 10 p.m. Uh, and it's we're going to get a little something that we may not anticipate what we will actually get is it's going to keep these units on for a significantly uh, undesirable amount of time I guess you could say if you're not this is not what you're doing if you just want to run like 7 to 10 and you do this it's not going to give you the results that you think and I'm going to go to the review screen and actually show you a little bit about what I'm talking about uh, what it would do here on the 14th would actually start it on at seven o'clock and then you'll see at 10 o'clock it does not shut it off if i go to the 15th and my review screen i am occupied continually okay all the way through the 15th and on the 16th which was another day that i put you can see here we're still occupied uh, if I go to the 17th, which is the end date that I selected, you can see that is when that it unoccupied those units. It ran them 24-7 all the way through. That is not what we want, especially if we're using something that's a shorter time frame, uh, such as a uh, just a couple of hours for a meeting or some kind of an event or something like that. We would not need something like this. Uh, so that is where... Uh, we need to select a different option. This is a good option if you're going to do a schedule just for a single day within MUI. However, for what we are going to do, I'm going to select daily. Okay, I'm going to highlight the daily. You can also do weekly with a start date, weekly always, and that sort of thing. Once you get into it, you'll learn much more about those. Uh, I'm just going to select daily. I'm going to hit next, and my start date for this event is going to be on the 14th and my end date is going to be on the 15th. Now remember that I selected daily on this and I'm going to go into here where I would add my times so I'm going to select add event. My start time is going to be 7 a.m. OK, 
Okay, there's my start time. My end time will be 10 p.m. And I need to set the value to occupied. And we can see here that we have our time set. Now I'm going to hit next. And let's review it. Here, of course, it's defaulting to today's date. But if I look to the way uh, that I have, come Monday uh, the 14th, it will run just at 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. The same on the 15th, you know, since those were the dates that I selected. And, of course, on out, there's nothing there. But we added uh, this schedule here for those dates to, once I press the save, it writes that into every one of these air handler schedules. So that is a big advantage to MUI when it comes to scheduling. Now another advantage is if you are going back to review schedules to see if they're, uh, if you're reviewing your schedules to recheck to see if there have been additions and things like that. Uh, you know, you get your printout from the database, whatever your organization uses, you get an email. You just need to verify that things are running on a particular day. From this screen here, I can simply click the calendar and then I can click a date on that calendar and then it will show me the schedule for that day for each of these air handlers. So that is a big advantage to how you can do scheduling. It's a little bit of a time saver uh, instead of having to go in and add a individual schedule to each of these, being able to group them like this is a big advantage if you are as schedule dependent as we are for energy saving purposes. Anyways, guys, I hope that this is a little informative for, for you. If it is, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Also, be sure to leave me a comment down below. Share the video with any of your tech friends that work with these systems. It uh, kind of helps the channel. Also, be sure to check out the links down in the description. Be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.